morning. Happy New Year. Welcome to the first vlog of 2019. Today's Monday the 7th of January. And here in the UK, you might say something like, have you shite the bed? That's because I'm up. Before five o'clock this morning, I was out walking the dog, hoping to get some scenic sunrise sets for an intro, but unfortunately, after we finish the walk, it's still dark and I've checked the sunrise time. The sun doesn't come up until sort of uh, quarter past eight today. It's still only half past six. Yeah, I don't do it often. So I wanted to start the year off with a bang and come in early to address quite a few issues that have arisen over the Christmas period. Let's get rid of this chewing gum. So we had to brew beer during the gap between Christmas and the New Year, which meant I had to come into work. So I did three back-to-back -back brews. I didn't film much of it. I think I caught it on one vlog. Uh, but what happened during the brew was our recirc pump for the caustic packed up. So it was already a little bit on the shaky side. What's actually happened is the, uh, the center, which is brass, unfortunately, on the impeller has worn away, probably due to the caustic solutions and the acid, mainly the acid, I would imagine, that we put into it. So that's something we've got to do. We've got to replace that. Doesn't have to be today. Then also, I put the scales that Stuart fetched from Nottingham for me back in maybe uh, September. Finally got them mounted on the wall and they went kaput within the first two days. I think it's because they were wet on the inside. I didn't check it. But when I took them apart, I noticed that there was a little bit of condensation in there and uh, that's what caused it to go bang so I'm not even going to chase after it because this is why I'm kicking packaging out of the way I managed to get a set off eBay which will weigh up to 150 kilograms it says on there for less than 40 pounds I think that is just about big enough to put a sack of grain on. So fingers crossed, that will provide us with a more accurate substitute for weighing out grains. It's in 100 gram increments, but I'm weighing 70, 80 kilos at a time. So 100 gram zero there is not an issue. So you might be asking, what are we going to be doing today? Well, today, we are going to be using a new piece of equipment that I picked up over the Christmas period. You could say kind of a present to myself from myself. So this is the Draper 10 to 50 millimeter air nailer or air stapler. So it takes up to 50 millimeter staples. I have a box of 40 mil staples here, which you'll see are quite, quite big. Um, tested it out the other day when it arrived it's actually from tool station it's fantastic I must admit though got a friggin hair trigger on her I'm telling you you don't want that anywhere near your fingers when she's plugged into the airline because it will go off on you so what are we building with the air gun why have I got this Storage, essentially. Storage is an issue. So when we first built the shop, I thought having everything out on display looked pretty cool. You know, made the place look like a proper workshop. Well, quite frankly, uh, if truth be told, it's actually quite a pain in the back end because, well, when you're working with timber, everything, and I mean everything, gets covered in dust. So I want to cure that situation. We do have storage drawers over here but they've quickly become full and there's no rhyme or reason to them so i've been watching a couple of youtubers one of the chaps is called jer i think his name's jeremy schmidt or something like that i'll put a link down below in the description and he's made some fantastic drawers out of plywood 
and uh, you use the base of the drawer as the runner so you don't have to buy anything else it's just the wood and some staples so I'm gonna go ahead today and start some of those I've got some kind of very rarely used storage just under this workbench down here so what I thought I could do to try the concept is figure out how big I want the drawers to be because I want I'm gonna make more of these so I want the sliders to all be interchangeable uh, so we'll determine what size that's going to be and then we'll measure it out on here and then we'll use half of this space for sliders for drawers and then the other section I'll just put a cupboard door on it and we'll use that for storing bigger things such as like belt sanders you know and I can get them off this shelf up here then and maybe get rid of those shelves some point in the future and put some proper storage cupboards on the wall I also want to paint that wall so it'll give us an opportunity to get the shop back in order and we'll start the year as we mean to go on and then once I've done that we'll be getting rid of this chop saw station and again building this in somehow and making it look tip frickin top so that's the plan today a uh, bit of trial and error zip the table saw out zip some plywood out and see how far we get with starting some of these drawers now I do know that Jer said it was like a four day build for him to do this big set that he did I ain't gonna be spending four days on this so we'll see how it goes uh, I am gonna have to nip back home though before the kids go to school I wanna see them on their first day back to school and I've gotta pick Gemma up for work yes indeed he do Now I kind of figured this was going to happen, I didn't want to get too hung up on the situation to be honest but uh, I think that the table saw table needs some type of modification. So what I would like to achieve is some type of repeatability using some of uh, the ideas that Jer's got on his channel mainly by using this threaded bar to make a T-square for the table saw but also my cuts are limited to how far I can slide my fence to the right hand side so what I'd like to do is remove this section of the table and have this piece basically on wheels so I can pull it out and cut full sheets. I can only do sort of 400 mil at the minute. If I can move that out so I can do up to 600 mil cuts, then it's going to give me a lot more table space for doing these projects, which I'm going to be doing more of in the future. So it might be a couple of days work, but I think we're going to scrap the idea of doing the drawers today and we're going to start the table saw modifications I've been keeping my eyes open actually for a cheap Wadkin table saw or something like that but we're still talking £500 plus and I just can't invest that kind of money so we're gonna have to make do with what we've got so yes we're changing plans already and it's only day one on the vlog for 2019 nothing changes does it
before I tuck into my chicken sandwich, I'm just going to talk about what I've actually done. The front of the table saw has been removed and on the sides I've made a rabbit on these pieces of timber and I've screwed these pieces of timber to the table saw and then from underneath I've dropped them in so the rabbit sits with the 18mm ply on the inside of it then I've screwed down onto it thus bringing the table saw flush much better than how we had it before with a frame underneath all that's left for me to do is for two uh, supporting braces running from one side to the other at the front and the back of the table saw to take this bounce out of it because obviously it's just the plywood holding it. Then once I've done that I'm going to add some angle iron to the front and then we will build our T-square to allow us to slide the T-square back and forth and do some good cuts on the table so hopefully with super duper repeatability And just like that, Gemma's here. So we've got as far as the stainless, the stainless, the steel angle. I'm using one inch by two inch box and we've started tapping and drilling holes for screws to bolt that section together. And we've run out of time today. So my intentions are to uh, go home, get the kids, and then cruise across to tool station and pick up some set screws and bolts to bolt the steel together and then tomorrow we'll continue with the assembly of uh, the table saw fence proper table saw fence and then hopefully we'll get around to actually cutting some of those drawers and uh, installing them under the new bench and then we'll have a lovely tidy workshop for all of these uh, Hundreds of bags of screws that I'm going to get. Yeah. Right, let's shoot across to Tools this young. Oh my gosh. It's all fun and games today, folks. I don't normally do coffees after three o'clock. That early start's definitely catching up on me. It's not something I'm going to be repeating tomorrow. No words. So that's about it, boys and girls. We're gonna chooch along back to Retford and uh, once we get there, we're gonna wrap up the vlog, edit the bad boy, and then uh, pick it up again tomorrow. We'll see you then. <laughs>